So if there's one lens I would say to get, it's this one, absolutely. I ran my whole business on this lens and my 85 mil for like three years. My car is loaded up with gear this morning. Now I have my regular Monday at the shelters, but we're also doing a special photo shoot for their upcoming comedy night. Every year they have a big gala and we like to do some fun portraits for that of the dogs. This year is gonna be a French theme, so we have some fake toy baguettes and some berets, things like that, that are really easy for the dogs to just be around. Uh, but for those, it's a higher production value. They're gonna print some of these, they're gonna have them around for a while. So I bring my big studio lights, backdrops, stands, things like that. So because I know that everyone comes to YouTube for <laughs> gear advice, here we go. This was a perfect day for you to take a look inside what is in my car, my storage unit, my closet. What do I use in my pet photography for camera and lighting gear? All right, I'm back from Animal House and I've still got my car full of gear. I usually overpack because I like redundancy. So there's a tip for y'all. I uh, have extra gear. All oh, this is <laughs> quite a lot of extra gear. I ended up with kind of doubles of pretty much everything. But I wanna give you a little bit of an overview of what I've got packed in here. Uh, all right, so let's start with some camera gear. Now, I just wanna put a caveat in there that I'm not, really a gear collector. I I get what works for me. When I'm looking to buy gear, then I will do a bunch of research, ask around, rent equipment, which I did this last fall. Um, but then I use it for like a long time. So this is my old camera that I still take with me as my backup camera. Um, and this is a Nikon. Again, I don't really care what brand, as long as it's something that you learn on. Like you learn all the buttons, knobs, and dials, and you're comfortable with it in all these situations, that's what matters. So what I've got in here is my old Nikon. Um, I love to shoot with a 7200 to 200 2.8 lens. So that's what's on here right now. Um, one thing I love, or one lens that I did like also with this setup, um, is the wide angle. This is a 16 to 28 2.8, um, which you can get that cool, <laughs> like super close up of the nose, licking, things like that. You can also get right up above and be really close to them. Um, so I've used this on a lot of my client work. One lens that I use a lot, oops, that I used a lot was the good old nifty 50. These things are so cheap. So if you just got a, a new DSLR camera and you don't know what lens to get, get a 50 mil 1.8. I think this is 1.8. You don't need a 1.4. Don't, you don't have to go spend the extra thousand dollars, whatever it is for the 1.4. Get the $200 50 millimeter 1.8. This is an icon brand only because I have a Nikon, <laughs> you know? Um, so if there's one lens I would say to get, it's this one, absolutely. I ran my whole business on this lens and my 85 mil for like three years. So this is the camera that I'm using now. It's the Sony a7R III. Um, you don't have to get the R, that just gives you more megapixels. Um, the a7 III, looks amazing and almost exactly like this with just fewer megapixels. Um, so this is what I'm using now. I got this this last fall and of course I have to, <laughs> for me now I really love my 70 to 200 2.8 lens. I use it all the time for client work. Note that for client work because I do a lot of uh, sessions outside. I like to have the trees in the background, multiple animals, you know, there's all kinds of things that this lens is great for. I do use this in the shelters, but you absolutely don't have to. You can get something else. Now, this camera doesn't work with any of my Nikon lenses, so I do have to carry both bags around with me all the time until I get a second Sony body. But what I do have is a Metabones adapter and 
This I can put Canon lenses on, which we have some Canon lenses. This happens to be a 24 mil. This is a great lens to take to the shelters, especially if you're low on space. This will hook up to the Sony with the little Metabones um, adapter. Works just fine. It really does. I've used it quite a few times. It's great. Um, I don't have any other lenses for this Sony right now that are Sony, um, but my next one will be kind of the wide angle, mostly for client work. Uh, so that's it for camera specific gear. For pet photographers, I really think just a DSLR with a 50 mil lens. Really start with that. Absolutely. I like to get the lenses that you can have a wider aperture, the 1.8s are affordable and wonderful. So start with that is what I would say as a generic advice without knowing exactly what uh, your circumstances are. <laughs>